The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Norman Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Unrelated to the investigation. Ari comment, sample of no interest, comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Listen, you look busy. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Airy comment. The pollen particles disappear in the tall grass. It's probably the end of the trail. Airy comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they'll ever kill us. Ari comment, traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line.
There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. Comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. I've seen all there is to see. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too.
Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no. Now it's fine. We just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it is none of my business. No, of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Hmm. Not bad. Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, 
but there were no visible traces of violence to the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the Origami Killer will never be found either. <laughs> I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes? Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. What do you say to that? That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation, except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll be sure to do that, sir. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay, time to work.
Step one, change the office. Killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Common species. That doesn't help much. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between 9 and 13. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. There's always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Oh, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found, which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time.
here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know I can make it. Is everything all right, sir? No one. No one must see. Station.